Hello everyone, my name is Mukesh and I'm here with MKR IoT Explorer Kit, which you can see here on the screen. This is a very uh, useful IoT enabled, cloud enabled kit that has five touch buttons, you can see here, and then five RGB LEDs. It also has a bunch of sensors, for example, the temperature and humidity sensor, the light sensor, and the accelerometer. It also has a graphic LCD, which can be programmed to display information, for example, the sensor data on the screen. With the GRU connector, you can also connect external sensors, for example, the, the moisture sensor, which is part of the kit. So the first thing first, your starting point would be uh, this website, arduino.cc slash education, and that's where you can register your kit. To register your kit, you can click on the link for register kit. Once you click this, it will take you to the, to the page where you have the option to either register the kit for your classroom or only for you. I'm going ahead with only for me. So if I click next, it asks me, asks me for the activation code, which you can find on the back of the cover. So once you provide the activation code and hit register, it gets registered. So going back, you can also look at different uh, kit categories based on the different level of school or the university. Um, the IoT Explorer kit comes under high school kit and that's, that's the kit. This kit is, this page is the information uh, page for the kit. It talks about what are the reasons why we should teach IoT in the high school and the colleges and how it can help the student to become career ready. It also talks about what are the skill set that can be uh, developed using this kit and how we can make their learning outcome more real world centric or real world relevant. The hardware and the components are also mentioned, which is part of the unboxing video. Then there's an online content, which is about the kit and how to use the kit. For example, we are talking about the IoT Explore kit. And this is a step-by-step -step procedure, how to build a smart farming or urban farming project using the kit. It, this particular page is really useful for the teachers. If you are taking this kit to the classroom, uh, you can see uh, different learning objectives and uh, a small uh, faced in a phase manner, different activities, uh, you know, starting with a simple one, then making a complex project. Uh, towards the urban farming project and the different components or modules which is part of the kit and that is being assembled. A bit of description about the key components, how they work and how they, how they can be connected on the shield. It also talks about the connection with the, uh, using the relay the moisture sensor, and then start with making program, starting with a simple one, just start looking at the reading data from the moisture sensor, and then going further complex towards making the full-fledged IoT enabled and project, which can be linked to the Arduino cloud. While this page gives you a step-by-step -step procedure or guide how to make a smart farming or urban farming project, there's another way you can uh, use in an easier way to build the project. So this is done. And this is the page where all the technical details about the kit is available right from the technical specs, what are the different sensor modules 
embedded into this particular kit, the data sheet, technical specs. It also has the tutorials in the, in the form of a cheat sheet. Uh, it talks about the library MKR IoT carrier and all the APIs or instructions that can be used in your, in your program. Then obviously the interactive uh, CAD and the PCB viewer, the pinout diagram, and also the schematic. This also a little bit of troubleshooting in case you, uh, you come across any problem in uh, dealing with your kit. This uh, could be really helpful. So if you go to the quick start guide, it takes you back to the page where all the projects related to IoT, IoT MKR kit is available. For example, we might want to go to the smart garden and this page talks about the smart garden project, how the assembly would look like, what the dashboard would look like, how it will work, what to expect on the graphic LCD. You can configure the project by importing the code from here and also build yourself the smart garden. However, there's another easy way that is making use of ready-made templates. So if you go to the top of the page and these nine dots, if you click on that, you would see the link for IoT Cloud. So I click there. So this is the place where we can create things, create code that can be used to program the kit. And then this kit could be hooked to the Arduino cloud so that the data can be transferred back and forth between this node, the physical node, the kit, and the Arduino cloud. All the things which you will create will be listed here as part of things. But we can do it in a simpler way. So if you click on the top, if I make it a little bit big, you can see here the tab called templates. And this particular tab has template for all these projects. A word of caution uh, or sort of prerequisite before you start downloading the template and making use of the template for creating the project. You, need, you must have signed with your credentials. So you should have a Arduino uh, login or credential, which you should be using to log into the site. Second, you should have registered your kit. That was the first step uh, when we talked about, and you should have done that. I've done the registration of the kit as well as logging into the Arduino cloud. So I can straight away go to the smart garden. Here you would see the template template import option. So if you click on import template, it will take you to, a, it will open up a wizard, which is going to guide you step-by-step step how to hook your MKR kit. So the first thing is you should be connecting your MKR or IoT device to the computer through USB cable. So that's what I have done. This is the kit and I use the USB cable to connect it to the computer. In my case, it has already been associated because I used this kit previously. So you can always say <coughs> you can associate. But if you have used this kit for the previous project, you can also detach it from the previous project. So that's what I'm going to do now. So let's detach it. So this is as good as you are going to use, you're using your kit for the first time for a particular project. The first thing it asks for is the uh, Wi-Fi credential so that the kit can be connected to the network, can be put onto the network. And this is my Wi-Fi name and the password. So I provide that and click on next. The second thing is you want to assemble the hardware. So all we need to do is have the MKR board onto the shield. 
and these are the two relays. So your MKR board should be such that it's facing the relay and the USB cable is on the opposite end. So while plugging in the MKR board on the shield, make sure that you are not, you're not powering it or so you're not connected the USB cable. So first mount it on the shield and then you can connect the USB cable. Now this is going to look for the uh, device and going to compile the sketch, which is ready-made and as part of template and it's going to download the template on this device. One thing I would like to mention here is that this is possible only because I have the Arduino create agent working. So if you don't have the Arduino create agent working, it will ask you to, so for example, if I, I try to quit the agent and it says we could not no longer find the device. To get your device identified for the download of template, we need to have the Arduino create agent downloaded, installed and running. So I'm going to run the Arduino create agent again. So once I start the Arduino create agent, that error message goes away. And this is a three-step process where the upload will the, the sketch will be uploaded to the hardware and a dashboard will be created along with a thing. Especially for the first time, it may take some time. So be patient. Intermittently, sometimes the, uh, the programming may fail. So don't worry about it. I'm just redoing the template importing. to the, the board. And you would hear a couple of clicking sound. Uh, that's basically the connection and disconnection after the code or sketch is uploaded to the board, it basically resets it. And that's where it makes that sound of connecting and disconnecting. So once it is done, you can say done and it will take you to the page where the dashboard, which came with this template is shown. And you can see here, we have all the data So if I try to so this is how it looks and you will have the artificial light on and off control. For example, the five RGB LEDs are turned on and off. If you click on the on off button here, the humidity is read from the kit and is displayed here. Same is the case with the temperature, which is 30.8 degrees. You can also see the light value and the moisture. So if I touch the moisture sensor, you can see. I'm holding the moisture sensor and it reads the increase in moisture level. So this would actually go to the soil of your garden. And as the soil becomes more and more dry, the moisture content will come 
will become less and less. And that's where you can trigger the pump. So if you have, if I have not connected the pump yet, but if I connect the pump, it can turn on the pump. And if I zoom it a little bit more, you should be able to see the status of the pump or lights. So if I turn on the lights, it becomes lights on. Same way with the cooling fan on and off. So the two relays control the fan and the pump, which can be basically connected to two relays. Then we got the bunch of sensor output here. And if you go to the thing, you will find the smart garden. This is the one which we imported through the template. So click on that. You will see the bunch of variables or the data which is being transmitted back and forth between the two. You can see the MKR Wi-Fi is connected and its status is online because it's transmitting and you could see that on the dashboard. If you click on the sketch, you would find the entire code which makes use of all the components. So that's all I had for the, uh, as an agenda for this short video. We looked at the registration of the kit and accessing uh, online resources related to MKR and how to use the template to quick start or jump start to the project on urban farming. I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to reach, us to, reach out to us in case you have any problem, any question, any comments. Thank you. Bye-bye.